Hey love bugs, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley for tuning in for the first time and today is giving 8 inch perfect clean hairline glueless bob. This one comes courtesy of RPG Hair and they sent this beauty over to me and the most, the best, the most amazing thing about this one is that she is affordable. So you can find a direct link to her in the description box but for now I'm going to be doing a beginner friendly install. This one is going to be super 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 simple. Literally when you cut the lace you're going to see how beautiful this one melts into the hairline. It fits like a glove so you really don't have to bond her down. I did add a little bit of adhesive but we didn't even have to like blow dry it and secure it. It just literally sat amazing like it needed to. It's giving Dora Bob but it's giving grown and sexy. It's it's giving holiday pictures, it's giving vacation in anywhere, honestly. I love this one for me, and I did not even have to add any concealer or anything to the parting, so chef's kiss for me. I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the video, subscribe if you haven't already. Now let's get into it. RPG Hair sent this package, and of course you guys know the package came in pristine condition. This is the wig straight out of the box. This is a look at the inside construction of the cap as well as the hairline. This one is 8 inches in length, 180% density. It's HD lace. The texture is silky straight. It is a bob since it is 8 inches. And of course, the hairline is super clean. You guys can see they pre-plucked it. Everything is ready to go. The wig lays flat. The cut is perfect. Literally, there are no complaints. The hairline is pre-plucked, and this is a very, very good close-up of what that looks like. Literally, you can just cut off the lace, add a little bit of powder to perfect the match to your own complexion, and you are literally good to go. So here we're going to start the process of customization to the wig. I did go ahead and section off the area below my ear that needed to be cut off for a perfect fit. This is a great way to do it by just adding a clip to move the rest of the hair out of the way. But typically I do it without this step. I've had so much practice that I kind of just use my ear as a guide and just cut without cutting in too much into the actual hair. Now let's go ahead and cut off the remainder of the excess lace. You guys can see how beautifully this HD lace matches to my complexion. A little bit of powder to cancel out any like white cast, but other than that, it's perfect. Also, I have a list and links of everything I used in this video in the description box. This here is a foundation powder that I purchased, maybe a shade or two darker than my complexion. Usually this works great as a way to make the hairline match my uh, forehead. And then also, I kind of like to do something that is a little bit more cool tone. So this one is cool tone opposed to warm. Warm will give off like orange or red tones. Cool will give off more so like yellow or neutral and that kind of helps it to blend and camouflage without standing out too much. Here is a look at RPG Hair's website. This is the wig itself with a beautiful model. She executed it with the baby hair, which is typically the way I would go. But since you guys see what it would look like with baby hair, I'm going to opt for no baby hair this time around. Here I am adding one layer of the Eben um, Lace Adhesive. This is a glueless adhesive. Lately, I've been liking to do two coats. So I do one. I kind of allow it to get tacky. Then I'll do another thin layer on top and this has been um, a great option when I want to keep the wig on for a few days now because this one fits my head glueless I'm not going to go in with the blow dryer just because it's an unnecessary step the wig already fits like it needs to I just wanted to use a non-glue adhesive to make it melt a little bit more especially because there's not going to be any baby hair so I went ahead and added that second layer added the lace on top Pulled my hair back and now we're going to add my melt belt from bidekbidi.com and allow the adhesive to dry completely while we work on the rest of the hair. So for the next step, let's do our dynamic duo. Here I pair the uh, wax stick and the electric hot comb, this beautiful bling electric hot comb from bidekbidi.com and I just apply a generous amount along the parting. Be sure to perfect your parting. If there's a little bit more parting space where you can like part your wig a little bit further back, I recommend doing that. Also making sure it's as straight as you can get it. I did that off camera. Now we're going to go in um, and flat iron. Now, as you guys can see on the left side, it's how it comes. It comes more so straight. 
I went in and I not only straightened it, but I added a little bit of a bump. I prefer this just because I don't like to go in and like flat iron and style hair every day. So giving a heavy bump will add body and dimension. And then I'll be able to go back in and um, wear it overnight. And eventually it's just going to straighten back out. Like you guys already know your bump, your curls, they're going to fall. But when you get your hair done, like at the beauty salon, they typically will add a little bit of bump to give your hair a little bit more shape. The left side before the before side basically is a little bit more of a sleek bob if you like that. Mine has a little bit more of a texture to it, but I love it both ways. Again, the bump is going to fall and it's going to end up looking like the opposite side, but I do like to have a little bit of body in mine. Now I'm going in with that same powder I used in the beginning and just kind of touching it up. I didn't add anything in the center and it is absolutely perfect. Although this one is silky straight and it has a beautiful body to it, it's not too silky. It gives rich and expensive and it's definitely affordable. The cut is perfect and I have zero complaints. Okay, love folks. So I'm done with the look. I even changed my top. got a little sassy. I bought a bunch of cute little tops to film in from Fashion Q because I feel, I think it's called Fashion Q because I feel like Every time I film, I'm in like oversized t-shirts, hence the intro of this video, or the entire tutorial, rather, or I'm in my robe. So I kind of want to step out of my outside of my comfort zone and, you know, style some looks a little bit more often. So stay tuned for that. But this one really cute is from Fashion Q. I won't <laughs> expose you too much because this one is a little sassy but yeah this one came from rpg hair i love this company i've been working with them for years i feel like it's been maybe a couple months since we've worked together last so i was excited to collab this time around on this beautiful bob and the most important the best part of this is that this one is super affordable so you guys already know there's a direct link in the description box but this is her she gives Dora Bob vibes, as you guys seen um, when she comes. She's a little bit more straight and blunt. I kind of bumped her a little bit more because that's just my zhuzh right now. But once the bump falls and it goes back straight, I can do straight too. Um, and that's the versatility with this. You guys know versatility has been my word lately. I don't know why. But this is the box here. And inside you do get your lovely dust bag. Also, you get this. This is a flyaway balm, and it pretty much is like the best way to explain it is a wax stick. You guys seen how I added the wax along the parting space. This is basically that. You also get your um, what is this called? Your elastic band. This is an adjustable band. It's a lot thinner than most, so I probably would prefer these. But because I bonded the wig down and it did fit glueless even without bonded down, I don't feel like I need it. But if your head is like smaller than mine or just a different shape and it, you know, you want a little bit more security, feel free to add. They also gave me a rat tail comb and it does say rpghair.com on it. And then also there's like a little, you know, information on it. I love when the wigs come like in these clear bags and they have like the info on it. So I'll let you know that this one is style number Bob08. Density is 180%. It's 8 inches in length, which is the standard door Bob length. Invisible HD lace upgraded clean hairline, silky straight Bob hair. So this texture is silky straight and it definitely gives. I like this one because although it's silky straight and it does definitely give silky straight, it's not like beauty store silky straight. Like I am conditioned to believe when I hear the term silky straight that it's going to be like that cheap hair that tangles at the nape and all of that. And this is not giving that at all. It definitely has the bounce and the movement, but it's still calm enough that it's not too like shiny silky. Minimal effort with this one, which I loved. I did not add anything to the parting, which I could go in and add, but if you really pay attention and look close, that really does look like scalp. It's a little bit perfect that it's not that super straight 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 perfect um parting which makes it look a lot more realistic and then also the hairline um they tell you that it's a clean hairline and they definitely did not disappoint there i love that for me and for that reason i did no baby hair but of course you guys know as the wig progresses or my relationship with the wig progresses eventually i'm gonna pull some hair for it and do some baby hair because that's just my vibe so i don't have any complaints about this one i don't have anything bad to say about this one i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go be sure to check the description box for all the details list links 
links and everything you need to know about everything we did in this video also don't forget to subscribe on your way out i'm currently charging the vlog camera because starting tomorrow morning we are vlogging for vlogmas so i'm nervous but i'm excited for that thank you guys so much for watching and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches